How's it going everybody? It's Ryan from EG Performance. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about E85, more specifically E85 in a Mach 1. Uh, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to do to convert your 03, 04 Mach 1 uh, from 93, 91, even 87 to E85. Uh, let's get started, but first we're going to have to go move Dylan's car out of the way. And I think y'all will like the way his exhaust sounds, so let me move this out of the way and we'll get started here. Chop never gets old, man. All right, we're gonna drive to a little spot here and then we'll get this video started. All right, so the first thing, and it's pretty self explanatory, uh, that you need to convert to E85 is E85. You wanna make sure that you have E85 in your area that's readily available for you. Um, you don't wanna be in the middle of nowhere uh, with 10 miles to E and nowhere to fill up. So that's the first thing you need to be aware of. Make sure you have E85 available in your area. Now let's get into the parts that you need for E85. The first thing and the most important thing you're gonna need is 47 pound injectors. Now this is the LU47, that's the part number. And this is crucial. Uh, for an E85 conversion. You really can't get away with doing E85 the right way without these injectors. Now paired with that, you're gonna need a fuel system and more importantly, a fuel system that's E85 compatible. Um, I have one listed up here from Doshworks. Um, they have this one that's E85 compatible, really popular. But any E85 compatible fuel pump for the 0304 Mach 1 will do you just fine. Now an optional part you can get but I definitely would recommend is a fuel line that's E85 compatible as well. E85 gas corrodes that line uh, that can send particles through your fuel system which is definitely not good so it wouldn't hurt to upgrade the fuel line. Although it's not necessary to do this I would recommend it. Now the last thing that you need to tie it all together is a tune. A dyno tune, a email tune. It really doesn't matter you just need a good solid tune uh, to run E85. You can't run E85 without a tune. I would recommend getting a handheld tuner. I would definitely check with your tuner first which handheld they would recommend you get. We have an SCT uh, X4. That is our tuner for this car and it works perfectly fine for whoever we're tuning with. And now that's going to be it. Pretty straightforward guide on how to convert your Mach 1 to E85. Um, it should increase horsepower up I would say to 15, maybe 20 horsepower, but it definitely is a great addition over stock. Definitely is a way better gas, better for the environment as well, um, but it does add more power. So if y'all are new, please subscribe. Tune in on Mondays. We have a Mach 1 Monday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, every Monday, tune into that. There's Q&A. Uh, ask away. Ask anything on Mach 1 Monday. That's what it's for. So Hope to see y'all in the next one here. Please like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to add. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.